Welcome to the Swine Nutrition Black Belt Podcast, the latest swine nutrition research digested for you. I'm your host, Clayton Chastain, and today we have with us Dr. Leong In Yu, a recent PhD graduate from the University of Delaware. So Leong, before we get started, would you mind giving the audience a short introduction about yourself? Yeah, hi everyone, uh, I'm Leong Yu. So uh, I am a PhD student in the uh, animal and food science department in University of Delaware. I study intensively in the uh, uh, gut health, especially the, in the intestinal epithelium side. So, uh, yeah, I study the intestinal epithelial stem cells and endoendocrine cells, which will be affected by the early life adversity. Great. So, yeah, I read uh, one of your studies about some of the work you did with intestinal epithelial stem cells and weaning pigs and kind of looking at the different um, alterations that occur in those cells around weaning. So would you mind sharing some of the study with us? So basically, we found that the early weaning age for the piglets, they uh, reduce the nutrient sensing function, which provide by the endoendocrine cells, especially inhibit the stem cells activity. As we know that the gut health this relies on the proper intestinal epithelium population. And the stem cells, which rapidly renew our intestine, they generate this differentiation. And we found in the pig glass, the early wing decreased the differentiation ability and the activity of the stem cells, which might cause the alteration effect for pig glass later life. Gotcha. So do you think there could be any nutritional intervention that could be used to reduce those alterations in stem cell proliferation and differentiation in the pig's gut? So we study the gut health because um, gut health associated with the nutrient digestion, absorption, and barrier function, which is important to increase the productivity of animals. And to study the early life diversity, we use, a, we use a model called entry to study the stem cells activity, especially in the functional aspect. And we have total 18 piglets at the beginning, and we win them on day 16 for the early win piglets and day 26 for late win piglets. So we would like to see a relatively long-term effect of the early weaning stress. So that we sample the piglets on day 35 of age for both early wean and day wean, which means they already passed the weaning uh, stress for at least seven days. Once we took out the serine and intestinal samples, we quantify the enteroendocrine hormones in serine, and we quantify the intestinal functions, which contains the nutrient sensing, absorptions, and barrier functions. We also generate the stem cells in reach model called entry model to quantify the activity of stem cells and the differentiation ability of stem cells, which is important because uh, in our intestine, that's rapidly renewed every two to three days in the piglet. So the differentiation and the proliferation for the stem cell is crucial for the gut health and the intestinal development. So to qualify to qualify the nutrient sensing function, we use a technique called using chamber. So basically, we mount the intestinal on the chamber, which generate the mucosal side and the social side uh, of the intestine, just like in our in our body. So with these uh, simulations, we can add the nutrients in the mucosal side to trigger the endoendocrine cells to sense the nutrients in the luminal side, secrete the hormone into the sorosal side. With this trigger, we can identify the, the nutrient sensing function through 
uh, qualification of the sorosol side solution before or after the nutrients apply. And for the entry culture, we isolated the crib area which contains high, high density of the stain cells. When we culture that, they will form the entries. So the successful rate to form the entry from cribs reflect to the activity of the stain cells. That's why we use these to um, identify the activity of stem cells for both early wing peaks and dead wing peaks. And during the culture, we apply a specific differentiation median to tell the stem cell differentiate into specific type of epithelians. For example, uh, enterocytes, goblet cells, or endoendocrine cells. And after we force differentiated them, we can quantify the android messenger expression or the standing to see if they actually become a mature epithelium. So we found that the early wings significantly decrease the GLP-2 nutrient sensing functions, which might cause the lower intestinal growth in the piglets. We also found the abs intestinal absorption functions altered by the early wing in piglets. So compared to the early wing and dead wing, early wing has higher uh, higher dipeptide absorption, but lower lysine so absorption, but lower lysine absorption in the early wing piglets. Uh, further, we found that the early wings significantly decrease the activity of stem cells, which might generate the effect above we talked we discussed uh, uh, about the decrease of the nutrient sensing or alteration of the absorption. We further investigate the differentiation ability. Uh, this is pretty unique technique that's used in the research area. So we basically isolate the early wing pigs entry and late wing pigs entries. We found that the stem cells isolated from the early wing piglets decrease the differentiation ability to enterocyte, which is responsible for the absorption. Increase the uh, numerically increase the differentiation ability to the goblet cells, which is responsible for the uh, immune functions. And interestingly, we found that the stem cell isolated from the early wing is hardly to be differentiated into the mature endoendocrine cells. However, they can be induced into the endoendocrine cell progenitors. So we confirm that by quantifying the messenger RNA expression and also the standing. So the limitation of differentiations into mature endoendocrine cells caused by early wind stress might be a reason that we found the lower nutrient sensing functions or the operation of absorption functions in early wind piglets. So overall, uh, we found that uh, early life adversity decreased the stem cells activity and altered the intestinal development, which might be a reason that we found the decrease of the barrier functions and serine and endocrine cell hormone expression levels in the piglets. And we found that the early wing decrease the nutrient sensing functions and alter the intestinal differentiation functions, which is important to further investigate the detailed mechanism to uh, develop a strategy uh, against the early life adversity. L-Biotics, the pioneer postbiotic for digestive health in pigs, brought to you by Adair Biome. With over a century of experience in postbiotics for digestive health, L-Biotics contains heat-treated lactobacillus cell bodies and their metabolites. Stable by nature, L-Biotics can be easily stored and incorporated in compound feed. Gotcha. Well, Leong, I appreciate you coming on the show and sharing all this data with us. Thank you very much for inviting me. It's really good experience for me. Yeah, thank you. Yep, and everyone else, thank you for listening to the Swine Nutrition Black Belt Podcast. 
please visit us at swatynutritionblackbelt.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our podcast channel so you won't miss out on the next episode. See you next week. Hey, everyone. We're always searching for the latest and greatest research to share each week. If you have a swine nutrition related research trial and would like to come on the show and share it with us, feel free to email the details about your research to hello at wisenetics.com.